Of course, you know, this means war. This is Battalion Wars 2, one of the most fun, enjoyable, and only war games Nintendo has to offer. Developed by Kuju Entertainment, the British studio behind the Undertow-approved Geometry Wars Galaxies, Battalion Wars 2 is the 2007 sequel to the original Battalion Wars, a game which gave the GameCube a much-needed shot of adrenaline when it released to retail in 2005. It was widely regarded a solid strategy game with tight controls, fun combat, and charming design. And for its return engagement, those mission details are the same. Battalion Wars 2 is a real-time strategy game but really, there's just as much emphasis on action as strategy. Unlike Nintendo's portable Advance Wars titles, the series from which these console-based games spun off, Battalion Wars wages war with a real-time approach. It has the same charmingly designed characters armed with weapons of cartoonish destruction, but where Advance Wars focuses on turn-based combat, Battalion Wars opts for a more hands-on approach. Translation, you get to fire bazookas. Anti-air vehicles are under attack from an enemy bazooka veteran. Keep one alive at all costs. As the title suggests, you are essentially the commander of several different battalions engaging in war. And the placement and movement of those attack squads is entirely up to you. Like Advance Wars, you have to develop a good strategy to fulfill your mission objectives, but in Battalion Wars, you'll have to carry out that strategy as well, dodging enemy fire and dealing with heavy resistance along the way. And that's what makes Battalion Wars 2 such an enjoyable game. Not only the mixture of strategizing and full throttle action, but the fact that each relies upon the other. For example, a nearby enemy territory may seem like it would be an easy capture with the assistance of an aerial carpet bomb, but if you don't send in some ground support to take out the enemy's anti-air tanks first, you'll inevitably lose valuable aircraft in what will prove to be a futile offensive. Order your bazooka vets to attack that tank before he reaches our naval guns! Indeed, Battalion Wars is equal parts brain flexing and ass kicking. No matter how steady your aim and keen your combat skills, you're not going to get very far without a competent plan of attack. And conversely, even the best would-be military strategists will see their elaborate plans crumble unless they can take up arms themselves and get a little dirty. It's a great gameplay dynamic, and it makes Battalion Wars an engaging romp through the hellish, unforgiving, and surprisingly colorful world of war. Speaking of color, I think Battalion Wars 2 utilizes a great aesthetic. The soldiers lumber along with exaggerated movements, and combined with their toy-like appearance, it gives the game a somewhat animated feel, as if the little green army men from the Toy Story movies decided to open fire. The visuals are technically competent, at least for a Wii game, but what really makes Battalion Wars 2 look good is its endearing design, not so much its technical execution. But the game's toy-like visuals represent more than just an art style. They also reflect the nature of the gameplay itself. As brutal as war can be, Battalion Wars avoids the profound bleakness of death and mortality by instead playing out like war in a sandbox. The exaggerated gameplay, the character animations, the way the soldiers look, these things combine to create a real sense that you're playing with toys in Battalion Wars 2 and the designs of its locations, and the more than 20 multi-objective missions, ensures the sandboxes are as much fun as the toys. Only keep in mind, these toys fire bazookas. When it comes to control, however, the results of the mission are mixed. It feels great to use the Wii Remote's pointer to aim at enemies and points of interest for individual battalions to advance toward, and I think in a really profound way, the pointer controls solidify that feeling of playing with toys. You're in charge, and you point where you want them to go. 
It feels really hands-on and satisfying. But in other places, the controls fire a few duds. Jumping and rolling to evade enemy fire, for example, is done by flicking the nunchuck, a Wii control practice which is rarely precise and just feels unnecessary in Battalion Wars 2. Still, if you can deal with a few control quirks and aren't dissuaded by its less threatening art style, this is an easy recommendation for Wii owners. It's fun, it's unique, and also Battalion Wars' two-headed monster of strategy and action gameplay makes for a very enjoyable and surprisingly reliable online experience. Indeed, if you miss those epic backyard wars you used to wage with your friends, consider entering the skirmish in the playful and surprisingly strategic Battalion Wars 2, a game with lots of strategy, loads of action, and plenty of bazookas.